Sports Team Podcast, powered by Slipstream Autosports. I'm your host, Daniel, and today we're going to be talking about something different. Um, if you haven't seen my Instagram and Facebook, uh, first off, all our socials are in the description um, below or show notes, depends if you're watching or listening from Spotify. Uh, they're all in that there for you to access. Um, but basically, I made an announcement that I will be com- um, commentating uh, at the Shell V Power Most Walk Park on the 18th of May. Uh, for round two of the UniSA Australian HPV Super Series. Um, now, if you don't know what that is, basically it is Pedal Pre. And if you haven't heard of Pedal Pre, it's basically uh, a WEC, but bike version. So it's the World Endurance Championship, but bikes. And now these aren't just bicycles. These are actually uh, trikes. And like you, you lay down in them, um, and they're basically, you've got a massive... Um, a shell around a a capsule, uh, and they go pretty quick. They're incredible. Um, I I highly recommend to check it out. Now, I will be linking um, the Pedal Free website as well as a couple YouTube channels in the description for you to check it out as well if you're interested Um, so you can see a bit more what I'm talking about. Uh, I might even show something on screen if you're watching on YouTube, but basically that's pretty much it. That's, That's exactly what it is, and... It's a massive thing in in uh, in Australia in terms of schools and stuff. Um, so this series has been going on for a long time. It started off in 1985, I believe, um, with only a dozen bikes going around in a car park. Uh, and just for a bit of an example, this tail and bend round that is coming up, uh, there's 184 bikes um, competing. And then um, there's a 24-hour race at the back end of the year in September. It's got roughly 220 entered at the moment, which is insane. So if you look at how far they've come, and by the way, if you can find some old footage of it, I highly recommend checking it out because they have grown humongously since then. Like these vehicles now are insane. Um, they're little tiny bullets pretty much, as I said, and they go roughly about 80 Ks an hour, I believe. Might even go more, I'm not too sure. But uh, the whole, the whole, the, the way the thing works is there's a minimum of, there's pretty much six rounds this year at least. Um, there usually is six rounds. Um, they go from minimum of a six hour racing up into maximum of a 24 hour race. Um, and of course the one up coming up and coming at the bend is a six hour. And, uh, so it's going to be really sick. And the way the racing is actually like categorized, there's, um, there's, uh, two class fields. There's ca- as a community series or category. And a school category, which is basically all the school teams compete in that one. And community is uh, those who aren't in schools, and it's pretty much no restriction sort of thing. Um, whereas the school one is restricted to your year level and age, and and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, now I had the pleasure of actually competing in the series back when I was in high school six years ago. That's going quick. Um, and I competed from year eight to year twelve. I ended up being the school captain for the team in year twelve. And if you want to, I don't recommend, but if you want to, I did make a couple vlogs um, back then, um, me at Pedal Pre. I highly recommend checking it out, but if you do, play it on mute because, um, well, let's just say it's a bit of a cringe fest and I'm not as confident on the mic as I was, as I am now. Let's just say that. Um, so it is a bit painful for the ears, but <laughs> if you want to see what Pedal Pre is, I highly recommend checking it out at least just to see what it is. Um, but it's a fantastic category. It's a fantastic, um, fantastic event for children and family who are looking for a good day out. Uh, it's a fantastic um, series to compete in for schools wanting to get children involved. Uh, helps teach them about teamwork and sportsmanship and have fun while at all at the same time. Um, because it, it can be pretty, um, pretty hardcore sometimes. Depends. Like. Um, it's it's fantastic, especially the Murray Bridge race at the end of the year. That's all. It's the biggest event of the year, um, where we have interstate guys come along and compete as well. Um, to Murray Bridge uh, for the twenty four hour, um, and I competed in five of those in my lifetime, and every year I had a blast. It was so much fun. I never had a dull moment there. Um, so and it, it's in, it's fantastic, and the fact that they get to go to the bend this time around, the Shelby. 
Shelby Motorsport, Shelby Power Motorsport Park is is sensational and uh, it's a great facility. Uh, they're going to be using the West layout. If you don't know what that is, it's basically, um, you know, where the supercars turn left at that uh, hairpin, would, would you call it? Uh, basically, instead of going left, they go right at that hairpin there. Um, and turn one is slightly cut short given how uh, it's such a long straight. Um, the, it's so, yeah, cut, cut in half. And uh, yeah, the map will be on the screen here. You can see it there. But yeah, it's a fantastic event. Um, it's going to be incredible. Now, in terms of pedal pre wise, right, there is other categories like this across the globe. Pedal pre is everywhere across the world. Um, however, in my opinion, to be honest, based on what I've seen, because there is series in America and England, as far as I'm aware, and there might be more, I'm not too sure. But I reckon Australia's version is probably the most polished, most premiere um series to date i reckon um it's top notch i reckon and i'm not you know i'm not just saying that because i'm going to be part of it i'm genuinely i've always had a interest in it i've loved it um even from primary school that's that's the reason i competed in it um but yeah no i highly recommend checking out their website they have more information there check out the youtube channel um also i'm going to be linking uh team uni sa uh, they do some pretty cool vlogs with their pedal pre stuff, so I'll, I'll recommend checking them out for a good in-depth um, view towards it, and also they show some behind the scenes. Um, speaking of behind the scenes, um, I might depend on how much footage I can get. Uh, I might be comment, I might be vlogging my experience, so that might be on YouTube. Um, see how we go. Depends, because um, I'll be in the commentary box majority of the race. Um, I might be able to roam around here and there every now and again, see what happens. Um, but I'll be there on the Friday for scrutineering and stuff. So if you're there, feel free to drop down and say hi and whatnot. Um, but uh, yeah, might it depends on how much footage I get. I might um, make a vlog. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be exciting. Can't wait. Like I said, if you've if you're looking for something to do on that weekend, I highly recommend heading down to Tail and Bend and checking it out. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure it is free free spectator entry. Um, I believe. Uh, do don't quote me on that. I have to follow that up. But um, I, I highly recommend checking it out. Uh, they have grandstands there across the track. Um, if you've been to the bench, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, it's going to be fantastic. I highly recommend it. Um, it's going to be amazing. And uh, yeah, hope to see you there. Um, uh, this was all a bit of a different um, podcast video. It's more of an announcement anyway. Um, because I did make an announcement on Instagram, I just haven't made one here. And I thought I'd make it here because, you know, not everyone on YouTube and Spotify is actually on my Instagram and whatnot. So I thought I'd follow that up. And, uh, yeah, but uh, thanks to everyone who has tuned in. Um, and thanks to everyone who has stuck to the end. Um, like I said, um, it's going to be sick. I can't wait and hope to see you there. Um, it's going to be awesome. And like I said... Info, all the information needed for the event is on the Pedal Pre website. Um, just uh, go to ahpvss.com. Uh, um, the link will be in the description anyway, but uh, if you want to check that out, you can. And check it out our socials as well, Slipstream Autosports socials. Uh, stay tuned for our Miami Grand Prix review coming up next week. Uh, we've got some couple of announcements coming along the way, so stay tuned for that as well. Uh, and obviously, uh, if you're on TikTok, we've just reached 2,000 followers so massive thanks to everyone who has um, contributed to that. Uh, you guys are awesome. I love it. Um, it's an amazing achievement. We actually got it on the stream, so I actually was able to do a shoey, uh, which is actually posted on everywhere now, so you'd be able to see that. Um, so, yeah, thanks, everyone. I'm keen for the next 2,000. We'll get Alex to do a shoey next. Um, that's a promise. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, no, it's amazing. And for those who do tune in TikTok, um, weeknights, I tend to stream as well. We're, we're playing through V8 Supercars 3 and uh, about to start number one. So be sure to check that out as well if that tickles your fancy. But that's enough talking from me. Hope to see you at the track at Taylor Bend on 18th of May. Um, if you are going to the pedal pre and competing, good luck. Uh, I'll be keeping an eye on you guys. Um, and, uh, yeah, thanks, uh, thanks for listening. Bye for now.